Hello dear subscribers and watchers, what's up? It's me, Webs from Slidenerd here. In this video, we are going to talk about how to perform the insert query in our database using SQLite. Now in the previous video, we talked about how to construct a helper class that contains the schema of our database. If you guys haven't seen that video, please check the link in the description text below or at the end of this video where I have included a link to the other one. So let's begin with this. So let's once again take a good look at what we usually did. We had our SQLite open helper class. There was the onCreate method where you write code to create the database or table. Then there was the onUpgrade method where you write code to change the database in some way if the database structure changes. Now you had your implementation that extends the SQLite open helper. Now when someone called the getWritableDatabase method on your implementation object what you got is an SQLite database object which represented the actual database that you created in the first step that lies on your physical device. So in other words this SQLite database object is the one that represents your database with which you can perform the different queries. So now let's take a look at this in a little more detail to find out how insert statement works. So this is the first type of insert statement that we can have which is very much like what you have done in SQL. You can see something like this insert into webs table specify the column that is name over here in the bracket specify the values that is webs over here. Now this will insert one row inside your table. Now you don't have to insert the value for underscore id because it is a primary key and besides we have said that it is auto incremented right. So we don't have to manage its value. So how do we write this in Java? Very simple. Say string insert query. Just make a string. Say the same thing. Insert into webs table name values webs. Now of course in the example that we will be working out in the next video. We'll be changing these names and these column names to represent those constants that we have already created inside the helper class. So don't worry about it too much right now. Here I will say db.executeSQL where db is the SQLite database object and this execute SQL is the method which we observed in the previous video where I showed you guys how it works and it does not return anything right so here you just pass the query inside it's gonna execute and you're basically done so that is the old way of performing an insert statement let's talk about the Android way or new way of doing stuff what you do is you create a class or an object of a class called content values now this content values is just like the map data structure you have in Java. It takes a key and a value and you're supposed to specify the key as the column name. For example you say name over here and that would be the key for that and the value is the data that you want to put inside. So let's make it clear by taking a small example and how it looks. You'll say something like this content values dot put webs helper dot name which means this column and webs which is the value over here. Again this is just a single row being inserted right. So at this point you can directly go and say db.insert where db was our SQLite database object and say insert webs helper dot table name. So you have to specify certain things here which table and there is something called null column hack which we'll be discussing shortly and the third parameter is the content values. Now as you guys notice there is a long id which is being returned. Now this returns the id of the inserted row or minus one if the operation fails. Now this is a long because you probably have thousands maybe millions of records inserted as well which is very rare on a mobile device but then someone might do it so this is basically kept long. So now let's take a look at the second parameter and understand what is the null column hack we have. So this second parameter inside the insert method which says string table string null column hack content values values. What is this null column hack? Inserting a completely empty content values doesn't work. Let me show you what I mean. You have a table like this and you say something like this insert into webs table. You say content values content values is new content values otherwise you create an empty object over here and then you directly try to put it by saying db.insert webs helper dot table name second parameter null as usual and the third is content values. In other words you're trying to enter a blank row inside our table. This does not work in Android. So what we have is a different way to get around this problem. If you do want to insert a row that has nothing but all null values then you have to do it like this. Specify the name of any one column in your table that can be null. Now remember 
there can be several columns out there that can be null for example name can support a null value if there is something called address it can also support a null value but your job is to specify just one of them and then you say insert into web stable you say name as the column here values is null this is the SQL statement and let's look at the Android statement here I'm gonna say content values content values is new content values I'm gonna say DB dot insert table name now notice in the second parameter I have passed webs helper dot name which means the name column in my table supports null values now remember you might have several columns supporting null but you just need to pass one of them that is why it's called a hack remember because it lets you set all the columns that support a null value to be equal to null by just specifying the name of one of the columns that can be null and the third parameter is the content values object that you pass and at this point you will have an empty row which has null null everywhere except the auto incremented ID so hopefully you guys have understood about the null values let's move further so what's the best way to insert data create a method call it insert if you want take all the values to be inserted as parameters to that method like for example you could have string name string email and then use the method one or method two to insert now preferably use the method two if you ask me because that is the Android way of doing stuff and then return the long ID which specifies if the row was inserted successfully or not so hopefully you guys have understood something about how the insert query works in SQLite in the next video we're gonna go to Eclipse and take a look at this in a little more detail in the meantime if you guys do like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below as to what you think about the null column hack thanks for watching I'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day